Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about which object in HubSpot you should use to build your onboarding or implementation pipeline, because in reality, you have a few options. So first of all, let's talk about the objects that we have available. We have deals, we have tickets, or we have custom objects, all allow you to build pipelines. Let's talk about deals first. This is probably the one that most people are familiar with. Sales Hub is probably the most popular hub after, after marketing. So you may already be running your sales process there. So the first question is, do you want to keep your sales and onboarding process in the same hub? Is that something that you're interested in doing, whether that's because you don't want to upgrade your subscription, because you already have uh, a subscription that you're using, you already have seats there that you have paid for. So that's the first question. Next, do you want to report on revenue after the handoff from a closed one deal? Is reporting on revenue important during the onboarding process? Maybe you only realize that revenue when somebody goes live. You have usage-based pricing. There are all sorts of reasons why you might care about revenue in your onboarding and implementation process. If you want that out of the box, deals is going to make that easiest to implement. Next, do you want the sales deal associated with the onboarding or implementation deal? This is going to be important for the time being, at least, because you cannot associate the same type of object with each other. So you can't associate a deal with a deal. That is in private beta, however, as of recording this video. So that may change in the future, but for now, if it's important to you that you can associate your onboarding record with your sales record, then deals is going to be a deal breaker. So let's talk about tickets and service hubs. So the first question, similarly to deals, do you already have a service hub uh, subscription or trial? Are you already paying for service hub? If yes, then maybe this is an option that you would want to consider. So the first question, similar to the sales deal again, do you want to be able to associate onboarding with a deal? You can always associate any onboarding implementation record with the company, but if it's important to keep it uh, attached to the deal, then tickets might be the way to go. One of the most common things we hear, and this is usually a reason why a team that has, uh, you know, and this is usually a reason that teams might consider upgrading to add Service Hub to their existing Sales Hub subscription is that they want to give teams separate spaces. They want to give their teams their own area, their own ability to customize properties, to customize you know, everything about the pipeline in a way that has zero interference with other teams. So if you have sales already running in deals, maybe you want your post-sale teams in tickets. And finally, do you need other use cases that come along with Service Hub and with uh, adding tickets to your existing HubSpot subscription, like surveys, uh, knowledge base, uh, you know, support tickets, things like that. If you do, then maybe Service Hub and tickets is the way to go. And finally, I'm just going to touch on it. Um, but if you have a HubSpot Enterprise subscription, then custom objects are going to be available to you. They are going to give you the ability to customize absolutely everything about the record. Um, that you are running your onboarding implementation in, but you are going to be starting from scratch. There's going to be much more implementation work to, to do in order to get set up and up and running. And there are a few features that, as we'll talk about in later videos, as we start adding a customer-facing plan with Arrows that are just not supported in custom objects. Not because uh, Arrows doesn't want to, but because they just aren't supported in custom objects. There, You can't get timeline events in from apps. And Probably the biggest thing is there is no CRM support for public marketplace apps inside of custom objects. So there you have it, the sort of three options that you have in terms of HubSpot objects for running onboarding and implementation. Ultimately, the right decision is going to be what is best for your company, but let's get into building our onboarding process and our pipelines in the next video.